everybody, Air Guns Youth and Shooting here today, and today we're going to be talking about a hot topic, beginner air rifles. So like I said in the intro, today we're going to be talking about something that all of us need to start with, and that is a beginner air rifle. Now in a different video, I'll be doing beginner air pistols, beginner air guns in general, and other videos with a similar topic, but today I'm specifically talking about beginner air rifles. Now, I'm going to split this into a few categories. There's different types of air rifles. There's pump action air rifles, there's spring air rifles, there's PCP air rifles. Now, like again, I'm going to be doing another video on different types of air guns, but I'm going to split this video into different types of beginner air guns in each category. So I'm going to start with one of your basic beginner air rifles, a pump action air rifle. I'm going to start with showing you my first air rifle, which is a pump action air rifle right here. Now this air rifle is actually also still one of my nicest air rifles. It's extremely accurate, it has a high velocity, it shoots extremely well. Now, this is the NXG APX Youth Pump Action Air Rifle. Let me try to get this on the camera, here we go. Now, let me grab uh, the, there was a different scope that came with the gun, so I'll show that to you guys. Let me try to find it here, here it is. I haven't used it in a while. I set that right there. So, this right here is a dual ammo air rifle. It's perfect for younger kids because it has no recoil, no kickback. It shoots extremely accurately. Even though I've grown out of this kind of air gun, a pump action air gun, I still use it all the time. It's super accurate. It's great for backyard plinking, even for target practice longer distances away. This velocity shoots up to 800 feet per second with both ammo, steel BBs, and pellets, and it shoots in .177 caliber form. Now I'm going to get this out of the way. For beginner air rifles, all of them are going to be .177 caliber. When you're beginning out, you want to start with the simplest and cheapest caliber of pellets and ammo, and that is .177 caliber. So, this is the APX Pump Action Youth Air Rifle. Now how these kind of air rifles work, is there's going to be a lever near the bottom and you're going to pump it up about 10 times. There's probably going to be a bolt too. And you pull the bolt back, put your ammo in, you pump it 10 times. I'm just going to pump it once. You're going to close the lever, flip a safety off, and shoot. Now, this has no kick, nothing. It's pretty much a PCP, PCP air gun, but instead of pre-charging it with a gas canister or something you're pumping it inside the gun so these are great because you can just grab your gun pump it up and shoot it there's no added gas that you need to put into it no added air it's all right here in your gun now I have a Beeman scope on here now this is a much better scope it projects magnifies much farther away but it does come with this little dinky scope and especially for kids this scope is actually going to do quite well for higher quality shooters or adults, it's not going to do you very well, but if you're really just plinking in the backyard, which is probably what you're going to be doing if you're a younger or beginning with air rifles, this scope is fine. So don't worry about getting a super high quality scope with your beginner air rifle. So, I'm also going to put one more picture on the screen of a different pump action air rifle that's great for beginners. It's not quite as great as this one. This is definitely my top pick for a beginner pump action air rifle. But what I'm going to put on the screen is the Crossman Pump Master. Now it's pretty much the same concept, but it's a little bit stinkier plastic. It's all plastic design. But it has the same concept as it shoots .17 caliber BBs and pellets. It comes in a pink and black version, so if you really want to be sexist and have that boy or girl color, you can. And it really pretty much is the same concept of that, but it lowers the velocity and it's 600 feet per second. And it's still great for kids, but if you're an adult looking for a beginner air rifle, I'd probably go for something more like this, even though it's technically a youth air rifle, but it is a lot better. Uh, the Crossman's definitely going to be your children air rifle. It's not that powerful. It's not that, to be honest, it's not that accurate. I used to have one, and I actually returned it after five days because this wasn't satisfying me. It just didn't shoot that great. Now, I'm going to put a picture of that up on the screen right now.
Now that's the Craftsman Pump Master. It shoots, I mean, for little kids or for beginner kids, getting an air rifle is going to do you quite well. But overall, it's not going to be my top pick. This would be my top pick for a beginner pump action air rifle. Now I'm going to move into the next category, in the final category, which is spring piston air guns, air rifles. <clears throat> now, for example, this is not a beginner air rifle, but this is a spring piston air rifle. It's the only one I have right now available. Now how these work is you're going to have a spring piston right here in the body of the gun. You break the barrel down all the way. It normally has a pretty heavy cocking lever. You put a pellet in a little dock right here. You close it. And you fire it. Now these are going to have a kick. These definitely have a kick because of the way that the physics work. Something projecting mass out of the gun is going to project the body of the gun backwards. Now it's not too much of a kick, but it's enough to matter especially for younger kids. So when I'm getting into this category, if for the one exception of one of the guns I'll mention, this is definitely beginners for adults. Now, I don't have it here with me, but I'll put a picture of it on the screen. Definitely beginner spring piston air rifle is going to be the brake barrel gamo varmint. Let me put a picture of that on the screen right now. Now this retails for about $88, it's not a bad price, it's extremely accurate, it shoots great. I used to shoot this gun a lot. It comes with a great scope, and it really is not a bad air rifle at all. But the nice thing about it is it's not super complex, it's really simple to function, and it's a great beginner air rifle if you're looking for a higher velocity, more powerful air rifle. Now it shoots about 1,000 feet per second, which is your average feet per second velocity for a pellet gun. This one right here is the Beeman Dual Caliber Kodiak Silver X2. That shoots about 1,200, so 1,200. It's a little higher. Some of them will get higher, but the Gamo is a great brand, and the Gamo Varmint is a great beginner gun. Now, like I said earlier, there's one exception for a children's spring piston air gun. That is the pretty much most traditional BB gun that everybody knows about, the Daisy Red Rider BB gun. <clears throat> Let me put a picture of this up on the screen. So that's the Daisy Red Rider BB gun. That was actually, I think, the first BB gun I ever got. I don't have it anymore because I definitely grew out of it. The feet per second's only about 400 to 500, but it's the most amazing and perfect air gun for your beginner as a children, definitely. Now, this gun is actually quite accurate. There's nowhere to put a scope on it, but it has great iron sights. It shoots just steel BBs at 0.177 caliber. It doesn't shoot pellets. But it actually does have a um, tiny bit of a kick, not really any kick uh, to worry about, but you can feel it because it is spring piston. And how it works is there's basically a cocking lever like on a pump action gun, but instead of pumping it like multiple times, you only pump it once and then shoot. So that is basically the sole beginner air gun is that Daisy Red Rider. So I'm going to cover all the guns I've mentioned. I've mentioned the pump action air rifles, my APX NXG air rifle right here. I've covered the Crossman Pump Master pump action air rifle. Then for spring air rifles, the Gamo Varmint is definitely my high recommended um, air rifle for beginners if you're higher in age and you want something a little bit more accurate and powerful. And then the traditional beginner air rifle, the Daisy Red Rider BB gun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you clear up some information about getting a beginner air rifle. Now these aren't pretty much, I'm not telling you go buy this for a beginner air rifle. Sure, go buy it if you think that it's what you want, but go watch reviews on it first. And definitely, these are just kind of recommendations of the type of air gun you should get. You don't have to get the exact one I mentioned. But I hope this helped you guys out. I definitely have actually a lot of experience in beginner and getting higher up into air guns in the air gun world. So I'll definitely do another video also on beginner air pistols if that's what you're interested in. But today, I hope you guys enjoyed this beginner air rifle video. That's it for today. Air guns are used in shooting. Peace out.